Good night, everyone. Tonight is March 7th, 2021. Yeah, um, I am doing a video tonight because I just felt like it. Mm hmm. And uh, for those of you who are up, when I do release this video, maybe you want to watch me at night or maybe at daytime. It doesn't matter. As long as you watch. Well, um, tonight I'm getting ready to do my um, I'm getting ready to do my hair, this comb, and this is my DIY um hair cream that I make. Been doing this for years. And this is my spray bottle, some water. That's it. So yeah, just getting ready to do that as I do a little talking, and I just wanted y'all to join me, those who don't mind. So today I was out with my mom, I'm still in Baltimore, and uh, that artwork on the back of her wall, that's, that's, is some, um, that is some memor mem uh, memorabilia that she got from Trinidad um way back when she was married with her first husband I was still just a child um and uh we wasn't I wasn't with her at the time me and my sisters weren't with her we were still in our home state and she was in New York married but um yeah that's some of the things that she got from Trinidad and uh, she's had it ever since. Uh, it could be older than me. <laughs> so, yes, for those who are wondering what's on the back of the wall, this is my mom's apartment in Baltimore. Got some peacocks back there, some little baskets. Um, yeah, just some, some um, interesting artwork back there. So, we were out today doing our... Uh, you know, I'm helping her out, do her chores and things. Went to the bank. Uh, and we went to the marketplace. Now, while we were on our way to the marketplace, you know, they, they, was, they were selling some things on the street. My mom stopped to uh, just see what they were selling. And, um, and there was a, a woman who was walking by also. And she looked at me and thought she recognized me. And found out, I said, no, um, I'm not who you're looking for. And I, I tell y'all, no matter where I go, or where I've been on this planet, someone has always mistaken me for somebody else. I just say, maybe I just have a universal a universal face or something. Um, because... Um, my size it's like that they say my body you know my the smallness of that I am my face just my my features of all features um I'm always run, running into someone to say oh, I thought you was this that person I thought you was that person and you look just like them and um, I said well maybe I just have a universal face you know how many people y'all know like that um it almost got me in trouble a couple of times when people thought they knew me and they wanted to injure me. And um, they recognized I wasn't <laughs> wasn't the person they were looking for. So it may come with it. It, it always has its pros and cons. So as we were speaking, she was, um, she just, uh, we saw the spot speaking and she was telling me and showing me her eyes. How she had gone to, uh, you know the salon and got her false lashes in and she was showing me that she had had a, a very bad infection um i don't wear false eyelashes but they look lovely on women who uh who do um get them you know as long as they're not looking like snuffleupagus for those you know, Sesame Street and that elephant with them eyelashes. Uh, some women wear them snuffleupagus eye eyelashes that, uh, hey, to each his own. <laughs> but 
but um so she her eyes she was showing me her eyes and um they were very badly infected uh what happened was um the salonist she put the um glue too far 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 up in the um you know in the woman's eye so she you know, I didn't know that. I, I didn't even know they glued the lashes on because, I, like I said, I don't get my hair. I don't get my eyelashes done. I don't. I don't wear false eyelashes. So I don't even know how it works. But she's explaining to me that you know, been showing me, and her eyes were very crusty and infected with pus. And I saw that she still had the lashes on, you know, in her eyes, and she was showing me how deep that the um, salonist had put her lashes way under her eyelids too far under her eyelids and glued it in i'm like wow it looked it looked painful just <laughs> just by me looking at it and like uh, i'm like so i'm like that's it just gave me another reason why i don't visit places like that because if you you take a risk even though we take a risk with anything we do in life you know everyday food we take a risk with but um something like that to me is even more so um and so you know i i only thing i say is you know i hope all goes well with you and with your eyes because she still had the eyelashes in and like i said it was very crusty and, and um it was infected so i just came on to say ladies you know Please be very careful. And she told me, I think she paid $20. I don't know if it was for each lash or if it was, was for, you know, the whole, for both lashes. But uh, both eyes were infected. And I just want to say to y'all, please be very careful when you go to these salons. And I would suggest that, you know, if, um, hey, <laughs> just be very careful. And, um. If you're someone who does it, get your eyelashes done often. And maybe, you know, you may feel that someone is going too deep. If this should ever happen to you, just stop them. You know, let them know, no, 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 this is, doesn't feel right. And I don't want to proceed any further, you know. But uh, those, to me, gluing something on your eyes with those chemicals, uh, it's a risk in itself. And um, and for you women who are that courageous to do it, whew, there's something. <laughs> there's something. I um, I'm not that courageous. Um, so I just wanted to say, be be very careful when you visit the salons, and um, if it's someone that you do that you know or go to regularly, and you have never had that experience, um, I guess. It'd be a good idea to keep going to them, but still, you know, people may hire new people and you may have a new experience with someone else. So just uh, continue to pay attention to attention to when you go out to these places. Um, yeah, because I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone else. So with that said, let me go ahead and finish with my hair. I'm winding down for the evening. Even though probably no near to go near, uh, I would be going to bed. Um, I'm I'm just creating more stuff, more videos, and um, I pray that they're helpful to those who visit my channel. I have several channels, and um, and for those of you who are, who are still here with me, I thank you so much. And for those who look at my channels just in passing i thank you for just looking at them but in order for me to grow uh i would have to have you to like it and subscribe um but that's how that's on your own will if you don't like it it shouldn't be forced and um and that i will not do so i would just take my time and watch the channel grow and for those of you who are here with me, oh, I thank you so much for, for sticking in here with me. And for you newcomers, oh, I appreciate you so much, too, 
or thinking that I have something to share and of value. And let me know what you think about um, these salons, specifically, you know, the eye, the eyelash salons. And what have some of your experiences been? And um, maybe we can share some of your stories on my platform. In order for me to go live, though, y'all, I need to have at least YouTube says at least 1,000 likes and 4,000 4, watch hours. Now, I've been on here since the ending of 2020, and I, my channel is growing very slowly. But y'all don't mind, you know. Uh, everyone is not meant to grow quickly, and um, if it's in the stars, it will take off when it needs to. And um, so that's why I'm patient because I don't want to rush anything and I want to be ready when it takes off. So with that said, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Stay healthy, healed, and stay tuned.